so I did some tests with the iFlash drive transferring a one minute video, a five minute video, and ten pictures just to see how fast it actually transfers to this thing from the phone. Uh, but first I'm going to show you guys how to do the transferring using the app on the app market. The iFlash Drive app is free to download and only works if you actually purchase the iFlash Drive. So what you're going to want to do is connect the iFlash Drive. You'll see the blue light. And then go to your iFlash Drive app, which is free. And it's going to have two folders, local and external storage. Go to local storage. And you can make your own folders. Uh, you press the add button to add media. Um, you're going to want to go to from library. We're going to get some photos here. So I'm just going to grab the first four photos in my library. And it's going to transfer them to the local storage on the actual app. So from the app, we're going to have to transfer all four of those. It's going to say move on the bottom. You're going to want to move them to external storage. And you find the pictures folder. You make your own pictures folder and you press move here and this took about 30 seconds to move those four pictures and now that it's transferred you can just unplug the iFlash drive and you can't get to the external storage folder anymore and that's it so highlights video pro was asking how long it would take to transfer an hour video from the phone to the flash drive I don't want to shoot an hour video on my phone or iPad so I did a couple smaller tests with 10 photos, it took about 3 minutes and 46 seconds to transfer here. Uh, that's a long time considering it was about 10.9 megabytes. I did an iPhone video that was a minute long, and for a minute long video, it took 23 minutes to transfer to the iFlash drive. That's for a minute long video at about 77.3 megabytes in size. I did the same thing with the iPad, a minute long video and it took 21 minutes. Uh, that's with 72.2 megabyte size video. So if you shoot a minute long video, it's gonna take uh, upwards of 20 minutes. If you shoot an hour long video, I tried to transfer a five minute video to the flash drive and it just stopped. It froze and I, it never finished because it was gonna take hours to do that. When it writes from an iDevice to the iFlash drive, it's writing at about 0.5 megabytes per second, which is really slow. When the flash drive writes to a computer, when you plug it into a computer and transfer your files to a computer, it'll do it at about 10 megabytes per second, which isn't bad. So the best use of the iFlash drive, I guess, would be to keep stuff on here that you want to check out on your phone later on, and you're not going to be transferring to it. Um, for 150 bucks, this is a 16 gig model. I mean, you can find like a couple terabyte drives for that kind of price. So I'm not sure this is the way you want to go. It's kind of slow and a little pricey. So think about that if you're considering buying one of these. Peace.